Hello, welcome back to 52 Hider 3D. My name's Christy, and if you've been following this tutorial series, you'll know what we're on about. Um, we're going to be doing the rest of the TARDIS. If you haven't been following the tutorial series, I'd recommend going back and starting from part one. You can find it on this channel. Um, yeah, so for those of you who have been following, let's start doing the the sign, the police public call box sign. Now, where does it go? I think the best thing to do would be to add a loop cut. You're going to let me add a loop cut. Doesn't look happy. Um, no, it's not going to do that. Let's see if we can do it with the knife tool. So if we and uh, turn on, uh, it's shift K is it? K? Shift K? It's K. Okay. And turn on midpoint snap with control and we can just make a cut across there. Press enter. But it hasn't cut very well. Sometimes doesn't very well. So if you can just select the vertices where it hasn't cut properly, I think you can press, is it J? Yeah, and it'll add a new um, line across it like that. Okay. And we can select that. And now if you're in Blender 2.66, you can press G twice. And you've got edge slide mode just there. Okay, now will it let us... No, it's not going to... Let's add another loop cut, so we're going to need to use the knife tool again. And again, we're going to need to use the... Oh, it hasn't even cut there at all. I don't... The knife tool does seem to be very buggy. That's better. So now we can select this one. Like that. And it's pretty much in the right place anyway. Okay, now how are we going to get this to work? Probably to fill in these like that. kind of working uh, as we go here so and we can delete this face now then then we can add a loop cut in there and one in there and we can move them in just to the edge of the of the police sign there the sort of the the bit that sticks out that's got the sign on it, not the actual sign. Okay, so if we now extrude these out along the y-axis it should be, and then scale them in uh, along the x-axis. Probably if we go into this view mode it's easy to see. that and if we go into here we should be able to see in a little more detail where it's supposed to be I think it's about there you can see them there now if we add a face just to uh, yeah and then probably can I add a cut there? Mm, yeah, there. Just so we haven't got um, tries. And select that face, that face, and that face, and make a face. Sorry, that edge, that edge, and that edge, and make a face. 
down that like that and then do the same at the bottom that's all fine let's just see if we need any to remove any doubles no that's good and so what more detailing is there that's about it. I don't really want to go into super detailing. There's a sort of a stepped section um, around here, but it's really hard to get that to work. You can have a try if you want, but um, I'm not going to show it here. Uh, so I think we might as well get on with this lamp. So, how are we going to do the lamp? Probably adding a I'm just looking at a reference image I've got here and probably adding a cylinder would be the best thing to do, wouldn't it? Uh, so, add a cylinder. Probably just want 16 vertices. Um, yeah, we can just scale it down rather than fiddling about with the radius. So... Apply the rotation and scale just so we don't end up with any weird problems later on. Extrude that out. Scale it out. Extrude it up. and extrude it, scale in again like so and we can just continue extruding and scaling just to get this sort of dome effect Uh, so we can press Alt M and at center so that they all go in like that. And I think if, if you really want to be um, finickety about tries, you can select these and press Alt J to make them into quads. Like that. If you add it to smooth shading, but you'll see with smooth shading it really doesn't look very good. There's a sort of weird effect you get. So if you need to add an edge split modifier just to get it so that the smooth bits should are smooth, but the uh, not smooth bits aren't. How's that looking? It's looking quite nice. Yeah, let's try, let's try rendering that. It's looking very cool. Yeah, I like that. So I think that's probably about it for the modeling. Um, one thing I did notice, there's so, sort of um, little, a sort of cage around the, the lamp. But I don't think we're going to do that. It shouldn't you shouldn't notice it too much and I think that's about it for the modeling otherwise so let's just give it a material or let's just see if there's a, a decent mat cap for it mat caps are a new thing that's come in on Blender 2.66 and if you can choose see how the lighting works. Uh, I think all the normals are a bit weird again. So just uh, yeah select all the faces and press Control N and that's looking a lot better. 
Yeah, so I think this is looking quite good. Probably better than any other one I've done so far. So, I think, although I think I've still got plenty of YouTube upload time, I'll call it a day here and we'll get on with materials in the next part. So, keep an eye out for the next part, which should be coming out very soon, if not today. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Again, you remember what I said last time, if you've got any TARDIS renders you've got, uh, post them on Facebook page at 52hider3d. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and this channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.